Saturday, day 17. Well, Saturday, day 17, we uh, left the camp this morning, and uh, as predicted, a group of reservation hikers came through, which means that they have reservations to stay on the shelter, or in the shelter on the, on the slats, which is cool, but they're like, this shelter only holds 12 people, that means we get the whole top floor or whatever, and the, the shelter clearly holds about 16 people. So I ended up giving up my spot and I slept on the floor. Uh, Nibbles did the same. She slept next to me on the floor. We put down a ground sheet. I ran a fire. The floor isn't that bad because there's fireplaces. So I had a fire going until like 10 o'clock last night. And then um, we got up. We were the first ones up this morning at 6.40. And we made a, made a, rack, a little bit of a racket. And then, uh, you know, everyone... We don't eat breakfast. We we normally drink uh, drink like vitamin juice for the first two hours in the morning, and then have a couple snacks, and then eat around 11 or 12. But yeah, those people are actually hiking to the shelter that the rest of us are hiking to. Yeah, it's not bad if you're a um, if you're like a section hiker or whatever. But man, like. You know, uh, like even the lady in the trail, like the ridge runner yesterday said to those folks, like, doesn't matter if you think you reserved half of the shelter, it sleeps a certain amount of people. And the point is, is that, you know, people can sleep in the shelter. So you don't get to say, well, you know, only, we, we only expect 12 people are going to sleep in there. But yeah, they were kind of, they were kind of mean. Um, good for them, you know. They bought the space, and I get it. They they deserved they deserved their spot. But it, it brings up another question too. Like like you're going into the Sm Smoky Mountain, Great Smoky Mountain National Park, which is massive. Uh, the Appalachian Trail is just a thoroughfare that goes right across the the center top of it. There are like hundreds, and I mean, I'd I'd guess there might be even a thousand miles of trails in here. Um, and I don't think that ridge, I mean, ridge walking is cool, but there's so many better ridges probably than this one. So, you know, if you're coming in the Smokies, um, like I would never come to the Smokies to hike the AT. That's just me. If I'm driving all the way over here, you know, a long two hour drive, <laughs> I'm going to at least do something that's impressive because there's some really magnificent geology um, in these mountains if you don't believe me take a look at this you know you can have all you can have all that never bother never getting a tiff with the the through hikers or other section hikers or whatever Continue day 16, Saturday. We're still in the Smokies, and uh, we're gonna go 19 today, it looks like. It's gonna be some pretty nice little downhills. We've got two more small climbs today, and then we've got like a, a real extended downhill. I think it's like six to seven miles long, something like that. So we'll knock down 10 miles and then head downhill and and then we're pretty much out of the Smokies at that point. Not really a good view from here.
So out there underneath the clouds on the horizon, I believe that's Watauga Lake. And we'll be going by there in a few days. I think after Hot Springs, I'm not really sure. And you look down here, it's all Tennessee. Sweet. The Smokies have been really, really nice. We're at the uh, helipad site right now. And soon enough we'll be going by a, another site that w where there was a plane crash. I don't know if I'm gonna stop by. I think it's off trail a couple feet. But there's, a, you know, there's always plane crashes in the mountains. I think this one happened in the 50s. So, it's been a nice day. Weather's good, it's been cold, which is nice for hiking. I'm just wearing a Let's see, wearing a hat, glasses, gloves. Nibbles is uh, just wearing her regular shirt, which has been a real nice uh, find from Walmart. And we're just cruising. Cool. Oh yeah, wow. Look at that. Kind of a cool, not so cool, but kind of creepy too. It's an old plane crash site. Let's see. Let's look at some parts here. Look at this. It's too bad. Wow. Have to check this thing out later and see what it was. What a mess. Oh, this, huh? Must have been some kind of bigger airplane. Man. Apparently this happened in the 50s, so it's kind of a testament to how some of this old aircraft grade aluminum or whatever it is, how, uh, how resilient it is to weather. It's crazy though, isn't it? Sad too, you know, people die when airplanes crash. Well, we're on our last uh, big climb of the Smokies. It's been a real food of a time. <clears throat> Smokies have been awesome. They're like real big stinking mountains. And uh, yeah, you should definitely come visit them. They're probably the biggest mountains I've been on in the East Coast. And I have big hopes for what's about to happen up in um, the whites. Looking forward to uh, the rest of North Carolina as well, Tennessee. But this has been a pretty good little trip. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the rain. I enjoyed those high, that high altitude cruise of yesterday, even though we didn't get to see all the views. I'll be able to come back and do it again some other time in better, better weather. But I love cloud hiking. It's awesome. And. Uh, yeah, we've just had a really good time staying in the shelters. People here have all been awesome. Hey, hey. So, anyway, we're uh, about five miles from the final shelter. I believe it's down in Davenport Gap. And, and then Standing Bear is like three miles from there. So we're probably gonna stop at the shelter tonight. But we were thinking about going into Standing Bear and staying at the hostel. But that would make today like a 20 some odd mile day. So we'll just see what happens.
Well, this is the descent out of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park down to Davenport Gap. And it just got really cool here in the last 20 feet. I wasn't expecting this sweet wall here on the right. Um, we're going to stay at Standing Bear tonight, which will put us out about 23 and a half miles today. We were going to stay at the hostel, or not the hostel, we were going to stay at the, uh, the, the Davenport Gap Shelter, I believe is what it's called. But that's 19 point some odd miles. And uh, we've done so many. If we did another 19 mile day, it would be our fourth 19 mile day. So we wanted to kind of break break that up a little bit and give ourselves something over a reward. a reward by going over 19 miles. So we're going to reward ourselves by going, I don't know, 23 and a half, something like that. Anyway, well, uh, it's unfortunately it puts us in into the hostel at like um, eight o'clock tonight. Maybe 8:30, depending on how long this this descent takes. It's a it's a pretty rugged descent though, and uh, rugged descents equal slow, slow and steady. And we haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> that's a, that's some guy's trail name. Here's the Davenport Gap Shelter. We were gonna stay there tonight. We just decided to move on. And it's a good thing we did. It looks like there's a lot of people there. Like probably, it's so close to the, the border of the park that I'm sure there's just like some regular campers and stuff probably using up some space, which is fine. But we're just gonna keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. This trail has been just a treacherous, like, I think we've been going downhill now for five miles. We've got another three to go. Or maybe we've been going downhill for four miles and we've got another three to go, something like that. Anyway, we will catch up with you soon. Hot dog. This, this officially marks the end of our tenure in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That was pretty amazing. So at the end of Fear Park Stay, you have to take your permit and deposit the permit yeah. here. Yeah, the second half. Two permits. Yeah, peace out. And Great Smoky done. Mountain National Park. And we're done. See you later. Well, this is the best part of the day. Hiking in the evening. All the uh, through hikers still, they go in, they're in by three o'clock. <laughs> Sun's up till eight. And, um, you know, I don't think it's, I, I guess a lot of people see it as pushing it if you go too late into the evening, especially this early in the hike, but, <clears throat> um, I still like it. We like hiking in the evening. If there's something so peaceful about it and quiet and the trails are empty, and the sun is sitting right over the top of the mountains. Check this out. A lot of times it just follows the ridges right in. It's awesome. Tonight we're staying in, uh, in a uh, 
hostel called Standing Bear. I think it's called, it might even be called Standing Bear Lodge or Standing Bear Hostel. It's uh, it's a it's a hiker favorite, so you you have to stay there. I mean, everywhere you look, they've got the best reviews. The guy there was super awesome. I told him we were, we weren't going to come in till eight. I said, "Is it okay if I come in at eight or eight thirty tonight?" I didn't even tell him how many people I had. He said, "Yeah, buddy, come on in, man." He said, "Don't even don't even worry about us. We'll be here." So I was just really happy that you know they're they're there, and hopefully we'll get some hot showers and then you know maybe there's a little little food laying around maybe someone's got a spare beer they can spare me <laughs> i'd like that but um yeah we're worn out we've done i think when this day is all said and done we'll we'll be just right under 24 miles which is our uh it's our new personal personal best so um just a great way to wrap up the smokies and already out of the Smokies, you feel like you're out of the Smokies. It's weird how just crossing the crossing the street and hopping across into this little forest over here just feels like you're in a different different place. So anyway, good times. Yeah, this little last two miles before Standing Bear out of the Smokies is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> 